The spread of an emerging pathogen in an ecosystem is one of the consequences of globalization and a great threat for agriculture, the human activity that sustains life. In 2013, the Olive Creek Decline Syndrome killed more than one million olive trees in Apulia, southern Italy. This unexpected disease outbreak was caused by Silella fastidiosa, a bacterium original from Americas, which has recently established in several European countries. The disease spreads due to the activity of spittlebacks, sap-sucking insects that act as Silella fastidiosa vectors. When they are an in, they produce a protected foam that covers their bodies. When they become adults, they are able to transmit the bacterium to olives, almonds, and grapevines, among other crops. In our research group, we study the ecology, the biology, and the behavior of the two main spittleback insect species, Philenus spumarius and Neophilenus campestris. It is thought that they are able to travel about 100 meters. However, the distance that they are able to displace is still uncertain. So, one of our objectives is to study the dispersal abilities of these two spittleback insect species. For this purpose, in 2019, we performed two different assays. In the first one, we used flight mill devices to study Philenus spumarius flight potential. We observed that they travel a mean of 450 meters in 28 minutes. Nevertheless, a five kilometer in five hours continuous flight was the maximum distance travel we have registered so far. In the other assay, we performed a mass mar recapture test in the field. We captured thousands of spittlebacks in an olive grove in Madrid, Spain. Neophilenus campestris was the most abundant spittleback species, so we dyed them with fluorescent dusts and released them in the olive grove. After a few days, we recaptured them in pine trees. Some of them have traveled 2.4 kilometers far from the release point. Our results provide essential information that can be used to mitigate the spread of the disease, suggesting that vector management should be a critical component of the overall strategy to control Silella fastidiosa, which represents a major threat for European agriculture.